World Health Day held every year on April 7th marks the anniversary of the founding of the World Health Organization and each year focuses on a specific public health concern. In addition to focusing on the journey to achieving health for all, which is this year's theme, WHO will observe its 75th anniversary under the theme 75 Years of Improving Public Health. In 1948, countries of the world came together and founded WHO to promote health, keep the world safe and serve the vulnerable so everyone everywhere can attain the highest level of health and well-being. WHO's 75th anniversary year is an opportunity to look back at public health successes that have improved the quality of life during the last seven decades. It is also an opportunity to motivate action to tackle the health challenges of today and tomorrow. The theme for this year, Health for All, strengthening primary health care to build resilient systems, is timely, relevant and significant for us in St. Lucia. According to WHO, health is defined as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity. This encompasses the holistic view of wellness. The most cost-effective process of maintaining optimum health in populations is through the primary healthcare approach. This is accessible, affordable, quality health services that cover a range of prevention, wellness, and treatment of common conditions. Ideally, long-term relationships are maintained between patients and healthcare providers within communities to maintain wellness and treat a wide range of health-related issues. Some of the very important aspects include universal health care, the essential public health functions, health equity, mental health, and chronic non-communicable diseases. On a national level, the results from the 2019 Behavior Risk Fast Factor Survey carried out in St. Lucia indicated that chronic non-communicable diseases related deaths were significantly high at 82%. These health conditions are preventable and related to our lifestyles. The survey indicated that 83.2% of the population do not meet the WHO requirement of servings of fruits and vegetables consumed per day. We note higher levels of salt consumption in younger individuals aged 18 to 44 years. St. Lucia's current alcohol consumption rate is one of the highest compared to other Caribbean countries and across genders. Of concern is the significant increase in women drinkers from 2012 to 2019. Tobacco use remains high at 25.2%. On a positive, encouraging note, physical activity has increased both on a national level and an individual level, as on average, persons spent more time engaging in physical activity in 2019 as compared to 2012. This data calls for urgent collective action by individuals, the Ministry of Health, all health-related stakeholders, public and private, and regional and international agencies to improve the health status of the country. During the management of the COVID-19 pandemic, generally healthcare services were diverted to reduce the impact of this serious respiratory disease on the population. This led to reduced access to regular health services, reduced screening among at-risk and healthy population, and delayed management of patients with chronic diseases. The Childhood Immunization Program was also affected. This now puts St. Lucia and the region at risk for the introduction of vaccine-preventable diseases that were previously eliminated. In light of this, deliberate efforts were made during 2022 to facilitate the integration of COVID-19 case management into our regular health services and priority placed on the other health programs, in particular, the primary health care programs. The Ministry of Health is committed to the development of programs, working with multiple stakeholders at various levels to reverse the trends noted. One such policy is the universal health care with a phased approach. 
This will serve to ensure accessible, affordable, quality health care for all. The primary health care system is presently being strengthened through the Health System Strengthening Project. This will provide support with equipment, supplies and training. Improvement to hospital care is also being managed. In an effort to foster healthy lifestyles in an immediate yet sustainable way, the Ministry of Health has instituted St. Lucia Moves, which includes increased physical activity in all settings including workplaces, healthy eating habits and attempts at screening the entire population to facilitate early diagnosis and care. All organizations are invited to participate. As we acknowledge and recognize World Health Day on April 7, 2023, let this serve as an individual call to action towards better health. This translates to healthy lifestyles, including healthy diets with fruits and vegetables, increased physical activity, reduced alcohol consumption, avoid tobacco use and smoking, effective stress management, and ensure regular wellness checks at the nearest wellness center or private physician to include screening for non-communicable diseases. The Ministry of Health is committed to working towards the provision of quality accessible health care. I urge you to take personal responsibility in relation to your health. <music>